Hey there everyone, Justin here. So I wanted to do another vlog for you. Uh, a big announcement and then I also wanted to do... I wanted to go over why exactly I decided to leave kitchen work. Because some people seem to think that when I say I'm done with cooking that I mean period, like no more cooking to go. Well, that's not exactly what I mean. I'm just done cooking professionally. Now I briefly mentioned that Cracker Barrel killed my passion for cooking. But there's a lot of reasons why really I just, I not, I'm done with cooking. And remember, if you didn't see the first vlog I did, this is not a reflection of my current job. I left my current, I'm leaving my current job just because I'm ready to finally do what I really love to do. So anyway, with that being said, let me go ahead and talk about why exactly I decided to stop working in kitchens. So, really, I mean, I mentioned that, like, I put up a fa uh, facade because I just wanted my family to get off my back about doing something with my life. And since I was already cooking in a kitchen, and I, you know, it's something I knew how to do, so I thought, hey, I can do this, so shut them up, blah, 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 blah. Well, um, it just, it wore me out, I mean... That's the thing with kitchen work, like, it uses you up, like, that's one thing that I'm getting kind of tired of, like, everybody, like, watches the Food Network and just glamorizes the shit out of this industry, like, I mean, little bit of a myth buster here, I don't make seven figures a year, I don't have eight vacation homes, I don't have six Lamborghinis parked outside, I live in a one-bedroom apartment, make less than 40 grand a year, and I have one car. So, and, oh, and I don't have a cable television show. I have a YouTube show, but I don't have a cable television show. So, what made me, you know, I think when I finally realized I was just getting tired of it was, subconsciously, I just, I hated going to work. I mean, yeah, I know we don't like going to work sometimes, but like, you know, I'll give you an example. Even though I don't really care to go to work, I'd rather do other things. You know, usually I look at my schedule, I'm like, okay, I have to be in at 5 a.m., cool. Um, after a while, it got to the point where as soon as I clocked in, I was ready to clock out and go home. And when I, like, when I finished culinary school and I did get to my current job, which this is nothing against them, as I mentioned before, I just... It was kind of what made me realize I didn't really want to cook anymore. I just, I still was not making money. And I was living paycheck to paycheck. It was like, my checks would be gone the day I got them. And I, I hated that feeling. And I remember when like, I was asked to come up with soups and specials. It just felt like a chore. Kind of like when you're growing up a, as a kid. And your mom asks you to clean your room or cut the grass. It's kind of that feeling, just like, oh, really? But, you know, if you're passionate about something, you shouldn't feel like that towards it. And that was, like, my first major red flag that I needed to get out of the industry. So, I mean, it's a lot of things. I'm just, I'm tired of working all the time. I'm tired of just being worn out and having absolutely nothing to show for it. Uh, as I mentioned before, I am tired of being dirt poor. I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck. And, you know, when I started doing the cooking dojo, I'm like, this is great. I'm doing something for me, even if I'm not getting paid for it yet. I'm doing something that's, I call the shots. I, I do everything. And I get rewarded for it. I mean, sure, it was just a couple likes and comments and people tell me good job but who cares I was getting rewarded and praised I loved it it felt so much more rewarding than the job that was actually paying me every two weeks so I was like I've got to find a way to make this a job because I love it I'm happy and even if I'm only making about 40 to 50 thousand a year who cares I would be so much happier I'd be passionate about it it wouldn't feel like work I love it, and that's what I'm, that's really what I'm shooting for right now. 
So that's more or less the reason why I, I just don't want to work in the kitchen industry anymore. Doesn't mean I'm not passionate about cooking, you know, like in my own time. It just means that I don't want to do, I don't want to have a time card and go to work and work in a kitchen. In fact, I guess that's another reason I don't want to work in kitchens anymore. I just, I don't want to live my whole life working for somebody else, just a nine to five with benefits, you know, enough to, you know, the bare minimum. I don't want to live my life like that. I want to live an exciting life and be able to look on it when I'm old and say, yeah, I did all of that. So here's my big announcement. The Cooking Dojo is going to be rebooted. You know, when I first started the Cooking Dojo, I was 20, I was 24. Uh, I started this October 24th. And really, like, remember in another video when I said I didn't do my research? I mean, it couldn't be more true. All I had was a little digital camera that was more for taking pictures that I used for video. The audio was absolute crap on it. The video quality was crap. I had no conception of lighting. My, I mean, keep in mind, I'm still not the best actor. I'm not going to deny that or act like I am a great actor. But it was even worse then. I mean, ugh. I, I basically, I just, I did absolutely no research. I just basically made it up as I went. Like, even the concept of assistance, like, I had a general idea of what I wanted to do with them, but it was still, like, when I first had them, like, they were just kind of there, unfortunately. Which is why eventually I was like, I'm just going to make these characters. We're not even really going to call them assistants. We're just going to have them in there. They'll be interesting characters to, that the chefs can work off of and can help them cook. And I still plan to carry that over into the reboot of the Cooking Dodo. Basically, if I'm going to make this leap of faith to make this a job, to make this something that I can eventually turn into my 9 to 5, I've got to take this seriously. You know, I've got to treat this like a job. Like, even if I'm not making a penny, I've got to treat it like a job. And the only way I'm going to do that, I I've got to get better audio equipment. I've, I mean, the camera's okay, but I wouldn't mind getting a better one. You know, better lighting, I uh, mean, better editing, which my partner in crime, Ray Ray, has said that he's going to help me direct and edit, so that's awesome. Not only is that some pressure off me, but it, it'll help me out. Because, you know, when you work all by yourself, it's very easy to get lazy, which I'll admit I probably did in some past videos. So having somebody there, especially someone who's really helped me, you know, improve and everything, that's going to be awesome. That means these videos, that's already a step in the right direction. You know, we've got to get, you know, keep mind, once again, I'm not expecting A-list actors, but I don't want wooden acting, and that includes myself, too. I'm not calling anyone out here. But it's got, it's got to be professional. It's got to look professional. It's got to sound professional. That way, people will view it as professional. It'll get shared. It will get likes. It will get comments. Even, it'll even get dislikes, which I actually like dislikes because it means I made an impact on somebody. And that's what we need. Because, you know, like someone told me once that, you know, this kind of thing, it's almost like wrestling. Like when you're a wrestler, you want people to love you or you want them to hate you. Because at least even if they hate you, it means you've made an impact. Because if you're not, it means you're just there. You're just there to take up space. And I don't want to be just another channel that takes up space on YouTube. Like, I, and keep in mind, I'm not trying to be a millionaire. I just want to be able to have some fun, make some money. But most importantly, have some fun, otherwise what's the point? Then it'll just be like the kitchen industry where I'm making money, but I'm miserable, and I don't want that. Well, you know, making money, I use that term very loosely based on what I mentioned earlier in this video. But, yeah, so... Go ahead and subscribe to the new channel in the link below. Um, and then be sure to follow us on Twitter. That is still the same. That's at the Cooking Dojo. So please, 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 like, just follow us. Be patient. 
I swear we will get there. Uh, I still plan to do the nerdy recipes. Jay and crew will still be back. I won't have every single character back, or like the cameos by like the cosplay characters. But it's it's definitely going to be original original characters, maybe some new original characters sprinkled in here or there. But this is going to be the cooking dojo that you guys deserve. So I really want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, once again, please be sure to leave your feedback on this. It really means a lot. All right, take care, guys. I got to go to work. Have a good one.